Hello fellow YouTubers, Technician775 here. Uh, today we're going to be packaging some honey in a Mylar bag for longer term storage. Uh, honey's got an indefinite uh, shelf life. They've pulled honey from the Egyptian uh, tombs and found it to still be good. One of the things we uh, call sorbent systems, where we get the bags from, and they recommended the Mylar bag. Uh, it's oxygen, it's got an oxygen barrier in it. <coughs> oh, excuse me and um, is one of the things that keeps light uh, away from the honey uh, people pack it in jars and it stays good for years but after a while it'll actually turn dark brown because of the light uh, that that this light sensitive so what we're gonna do I've got my vac packet uh, unit right here set up I've done a couple of them already just to see and uh, we're gonna take it put it in there I hope I don't have one heck of a mess uh, sometimes uh, the good things or are, are good uh, deeds go awry or good tries go awry. This thing is pretty full. I put just a little bit more in than I probably should have. I've got it set on a full six for the seal. And what we're going to do is hit it right fast. And we're only going to vacuum seal this for about uh, maybe 15, uh, 10 seconds thereabouts. Uh, we're going to hit it right there. You'll find that if you pull too much of a vacuum on water, honey, it'll actually start bubbling up. So we're gonna take and see. I did one a couple uh, uh, a couple minutes ago. Held it upside down, squeezed it pretty good, and uh-oh, uh, we have a mess. Houston, we have a mess. Alrighty. So, anyways, uh, not that uh, not that it's right. Um, just put too much in the bag. So I'm gonna pause the video and come right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, I did get another bag. The other one actually sealed up. So I turned it upside down to pour it back in the honey dispenser. And it was sealed pretty tight. It must have been something that came out the end. But anyways, I got it all cleaned up. Um, of course, no honey went to waste. I, um, I'm a sucker for good honey. So what we're going to do, we're going to try this again. We're going to put it in the, in the vacuum sealer. And at the very last minute, go in and turn this over and let it squeeze and do its thing. Uh, like I said, we're going to do about maybe uh, eight seconds. Uh, that's plenty enough time uh, to vacuum seal most of the air out. Like I said, honey will start bubbling up. I did a clear package uh, earlier, uh, as you can see in the video here. It worked pretty good. Uh, it's a good strong seal, and um, but uh, uh, sunlight will get to it. Now, if you have it in a box or have it stored in a bucket, it'll be just fine like this, you know, so <clears throat> that, is, that is an option. I do want to say you cannot seal this in a food saver. It has to be a vacuum chamber system just like this. Um, so I'm going to go over here and turn it upside down uh, to see if we uh, have a good seal. It looks like a good seal. I just want to make sure. We got a good seal. So, with this said, um, here's one that I uh, that I did, and uh, just put a quick label on there. Nothing uh, fancy, <clears throat> you know. So, uh, we may have this for sale uh, on our website a little bit later on. There's a few things I've got to work on. One is the website and get the e-commerce set up, uh, you know. So, but we will have this for sale. I'm thinking that uh, it's not really hard to do. Just have to get the, the proper uh, packaging uh, set up. And uh, the other bags we have coming in, I ordered some, has got a, a gusset on the bottom, so it stands up more like a, a regular bag. Although this one doesn't do too bad. stands up just like that. Or it can lay down. You know, if you have a uh, uh, something to put it in, it can lay down just fine like that for storage. But probably would recommend storing it straight up and down like this, keeping it off the seal just to make sure. So with that said, Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. Oh, any questions or comments, feel free to take and post.